What is up guys, my name is Premium Aphid and today we're going to be reviewing this security camera right here and it is a Wi-Fi security camera so it's pretty nice. Um, I got this one just so I can kind of protect all my belongings in my apartment because I do have a nice gaming setup but um, I set it up in my kitchen because that's where my main door is so if anyone comes in that's like not me I'll be able to see it because I have my security camera set up right here. So if you guys are interested in Wi-Fi security cameras, I would definitely suggest watching the rest of this video. I'm going to be basically going over all the features and how to set it up. So right here we got the smart Wi-Fi camera box and as you can see it actually does 1080p. Um, I haven't really looked at the footage on my computer yet. I've looked at it on like the preview on my phone but it doesn't look half bad. But um, I don't even have it set to 1080p because I don't want to like take up a ton of space on the SD card inside of it. So this is the HM205 model smart Wi-Fi camera. So basically some of the key features uh, works with Amazon Alexa. It doesn't appear that they advertise Google Home so maybe they don't work with Google Home. But they do support micro SD cards and they have their own cloud service. Um, the cloud service just costs like a little bit every month, so I would just suggest getting a big micro SD card and uh, using that because it's a one-time payment. It also has intelligent human-shaped detection, so I, I haven't actually used that yet, but I assume it would just follow a uh, human because this does have 360 degree motion, so it can kind of follow anything in the room. So I just set mine up on the window seal. I don't know if you can even see it. But uh, it also comes with some uh, mounting kit, so you could technically like put it on the ceiling, but I didn't feel like doing that, so uh, I just set it up on the window seal. And it is powered by micro um, USB right there, and it has a reset button which you use to um, set it up. Uh, I just have this cable running down here, and it works fine for now. Um, I may eventually mount it, but it was just easy to set it there. So uh, back to the box, it does have an app that goes along with it, which I'll be showing you in a second. And uh, that's basically it. Inside there's just a lot of foam to keep your security camera safe and you get this uh, smart setup guide, or not smart setup guide, but your quick start guide. And uh, it's pretty helpful. I was able to get it set up pretty fast. Uh, I was not able to get it to get set up on my Motorola phone for whatever reason. I had to set it up on my iPhone. So I'm going to show you guys how I set mine up real quick. Yes, I know I have a lot of apps. This isn't even my phone anymore. I just like have this sitting in my dresser. So basically you just click this plus and whenever it actually registers that I click it. Come on. All right. All right. Now it works. And so after you click the plus, all you want to do is click intelligent camera. And then I did this option which basically will just uh, make a Wi-Fi network for your phone to connect to so that you can actually set it up. So as you can see right here, this is the network that it's going to pop up. And um, I already have mine set up, so I'm not going to do all this again. But basically you would just click this and it would bring up your settings. You go to your Wi-Fi, click on that network, and you're basically good to go. It'll just set up for you. And uh, once you get to that point, let's see if I can get out of here. You're able to just click on your camera and you can kind of see like a live view and you're able to use this to move around. So I don't know if I uh, take the phone with me, I can show you guys the camera actually moving around. So as you can tell, it's pretty quiet, which is good. And uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty nice. I think it's only like $30. So uh, for $30, you're able to protect your home gaming setup and uh, so I think it's pretty cool. So like I was saying I put an SD card in mine so I don't have to use their cloud storage. Um, to get to the SD card it's kind of weird you have to like put the camera all the way up so the actual camera is facing the ceiling and the SD card slot is in the camera so I'll show you guys that in a second. So as you guys can see that is where the micro SD card goes. You just have to make the camera tilt up in that direction and this thing also does have a two-way like mics so you're able to talk to whoever's in the room so if some intruder comes in you can kind of mess with them um, I don't know if you'd be doing that if someone's breaking into your house but 
you could if that's there you can also talk to your pet or whatever so that is a pretty cool feature so i'm gonna have some live footage play for you guys so you guys can kind of see what the quality actually looks like So I just want to give you guys a better look at the camera. Um, it's pretty small. It's like the size of my hand basically. Um, it looks pretty nice and it blends in with all the white in the kitchen. So I don't think they actually have different colors of these things, but considering most walls are white, it's basically the way to go. So I think it looks clean. Um, it feels pretty well built. It is powered by a micro USB, which I actually like. So I mean for $30, I think this is a really nice product comes with a pretty nice app that um, I'm still learning how to use but for the most part it runs pretty smoothly so if you guys are interested in this product make sure you go down to the link below and you guys can check this out so anyways I hope you guys enjoy this video and this review and I'll see you guys on the next one it is touching the truth